One of the most recognized symbols of the horrors of the Atlantic slave trade was visited by U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen on Saturday. The salmon-colored house on Gore Island off Senegal was instrumental in trapping tens of millions of Africans in bondage over generations. Ultimately, Gore Island reminds us that the histories of Africa and America are intimately connected. Gore and the transatlantic slave trade are not just a part of African history, they are a part of American history too. And we know that the tragedy did not stop with the generation of humans taken from here. It's part of a 10-day trip aimed at rebuilding economic relationships between the United States and Africa. The building was known as the House of Slaves, from which enslaved people were shipped across the Atlantic, never to return. In the United States, what's remarkable is how many African-American men and women overcame the odds, created better lives for themselves and their descendants, and became central to our economy and democracy, building our cities, powering our industries, and bending the conscious, conscience of the United States and the world toward justice. And all of this in the face of systemic social and economic injustice. Yellen acknowledged the impact of slavery and joined a list of dignitaries who visited the site, including former U.S. President Barack Obama and South Africa's Nelson Mandela.